The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Coral Glades takes on Western tonight on School Duel. Joining us, I am Lisa Lee, and welcome to School Duel, where 24 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, tonight's game features Coral Glades High versus Western High in what should be quite a showdown. And to provide an environment as safe as possible, we are all wearing masks, as you can see. Now, before we begin, let me tell you what these students are playing for. First off, both teams will win beautiful trophies, courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. And for the runner-up tonight, each player from that school will receive $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. And last but not least, for the winners, well, each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. All right, so let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike, and in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal an answer correctly. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Our first question deals with elections. In 2021, which state held a special election to recall its governor, Gavin Yeshon? California. Yes, very good. All right, we're off. Next question deals with food. The fat within this substance is now thought to be the healthiest part of a Mediterranean diet. Name this edible substance. Yes, Rudarnley. Fish. Incorrect. Coral glades, here we go. The fat within this substance is now thought to be the healthiest part of a Mediterranean diet. Name this edible substance often used in Italian and Greek food whose type includes virgin and extra virgin. Ryan. Olive oil. Excellent, good job. Actors, his fourth and last wife was Una, the daughter of playwright Eugene O'Neill. Name this silent film actor whose movies, The Gold Rush and City Lights, featured his character, The Tramp. That would be Charlie Chaplin. All right, next one, novels. Which Charles Dickens novel, his second after the Pickwick Papers, was originally subtitled A Parish Boy's Progress and tells of its title character asking for more. Ryan? Oliver Twist. Good job. The legislative branch. What legislative tactic used to lengthen debate on a bill can only be overcome? Zachary? Filibuster. Yes, good job. Animals. The Asian elephant, the chimpanzee, the blue whale, and the sea lion are all species that are considered by the World Wildlife Fund to be in what, Sean? Mammals. Incorrect, coral glades. They are considered by the World Wildlife Fund to be in what condition, meaning that they face a very high risk. Olivia? Endangered. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by American National Bank. Here, our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. This nation's Heard Island contains Mawson Peak, which is taller than anything on its mainland. Yes, Rudarnley? Australia. Very good. And a little something about Australia. Indigenous people have inhabited Australia for 65,000 years, and the first Europeans to settle there came from the Netherlands in the 1600s. All right, phrases. What two-word phrase can refer to the area of the retina where the optic nerve exits the eye or the area behind a driver that can only be seen by turning, Sean? Blindside. Very good. Waterways. In 1977, control of this waterway was handed over to the country where it is located. Sean. The Panama Canal. Good job. Artist. A permanent exhibit in Muncie, Indiana, shows his art studio and allows people to try to complete an entire painting in under 30 minutes. 
named this late artist and host of The Joy of Painting, known for his permed Zachary. Bob Ross. Yes, good job. Math terms and geometry. This term means a line from a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side, whereas in statistics, Rue Darnley. Bisecting. Incorrect, coral glades. I'll start it over in geometry. This term means a line from a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side, whereas in statistics, it means the value that is exactly in the middle of a set of data. Olivia. Midpoint. Incorrect, it's the median. Round. We do have a close game. Coral Glades has 50, Western has 40. We're going to be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Achievement provides a curriculum where students can build and prepare how to be accomplished, successful adults. It's a budgeting, financial literacy, personal finance program that we're doing with the school system. They're going to play out life scenarios, really learning how to live out a lifestyle uh, within their means and budget. The kids learn it and they bring it back home and it really helps the entire family. And it begins to start impacting schools and it'll impact our nation. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. We have an exciting game going. Now the score may look a little different to you than before we left for a break because during the break the judges notified me that there was a question that was given credit to Western for that was actually incorrect. So at this moment I'm going to give Coral Glades the opportunity to answer this correctly. Coral Glades phrases. What two word phrase can refer to the area of the retina where the optic nerve exits the eye or the area behind a driver that can only be seen by turning the head? Ryan? Blind spot. Blind spot is correct. Unfortunately, Weston, you were given credit and you said blind side. All right. So now the current score is 60 to 30. Before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitor from each school. Let's start with the Coral Glades Jaguars. Welcome. All right, we're going to meet Ryan first. He's a junior. And the question of the day is, is there a particular career field you're looking forward to going into? No, I haven't decided yet. All right, that's our time. That, you have time. Don't worry. Zachary, you're a senior. You're right next to Ryan. What are you thinking of doing later on? I'm planning to study economics and public policy. Excellent. And the captain of Coral Glades team is Olivia. You're a junior. I'm thinking data science or a computer science field. Okay, very nice. Now let's meet your competitors. They are the Weston Wildcats. Welcome. <laughs> and we will start with Cole, who's a senior. Cole, is there a career field you're looking forward to going into? I'm hoping to go to school for film. Ah, nice. Next to you is Sean, who's a senior. Same question. Um, I would like to study international relations and become an American diplomat. Ooh, I like that. Okay, and the captain of Western's team, we have Rue Darnley. <laughs> and talk to me about what you want to do. You're a senior, so you're almost out the door. I'd like to go into business management. All right, very nice. All right, let's hear it for both teams. Big round of applause. 
Okay, now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust, and it's presented by Public Supermarket. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with toss-up questions. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it's time to joust. All right, our two captains, Olivia and Rue Darnley, you guys are up first. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Every few hundred years, this bird would burst into flame and then come back to life. Yes, Rue Darnley? Phoenix. Very good, excellent. All right, Western, the following bonus questions all deal with creatures from Greek mythology. Bonus question number one, because the river water did not touch his heel, it was the only part, Cole? Achilles. Yes, good job. Bonus question number two. What constellation was named for the Greek hero who killed the Medusa? Sean. Orion. Incorrect. It's Perseus. Bonus question number three. It had the body of a lion, but the head and wings of an eagle. Who darnly? Pegasus. Incorrect, it's Griffin. All right, Sean and Zachary, it's your turn. Here's your toss-up question, worth 10 points. Mercury is the first planet from the sun and Earth is the third. What is the seventh planet? Yes, Zachary? Neptune. Incorrect, Western? Uranus. Very good. All right, we're back at Western. The following bonus questions all deal with Uranus. Bonus question number one, whereas Jupiter and Saturn are known as gas giants, Uranus is this type of giant because it is mainly made up of compounds like ammonia, methane, and water that were frozen solid during its formation. Rudarnley. Ice. Very good. Bonus question number two. What other ice giant is the farthest planet from the sun now that Pluto is considered a dwarf planet? The answer is Neptune. Bonus question number three. The methane in its atmosphere makes Uranus appear this color. Sean. Blue. Very good. All right, my last two, Ryan and Cole. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Different from the word debut, what word that came to English from French refers to the first episode of a TV show each season, Cole? Pilot. Incorrect, Coral Glades. I'm gonna finish the uh, question for you. Different from the word debut, what word that came to English from French refers to the first episode of a TV show each season or to the first performance of a play? Is it opening? The answer is premiere. Cole and Ryan, I have one more question for you. What other word that came to English from French refers to a professional cook and literally means chief? Ryan? Chef. Very good. All right, Coral Blades, the following bonus questions all deal with other words that came to English from French. Bonus question number one, a side view of a person or thing usually drawn completely in black. Ryan. Portrait. Incorrect, it's a silhouette. Bonus question number two, the lighted sign above a theater that tells you what show or movie is playing inside. That's the marquee. Bonus question number three, similar to a castle, it's a luxurious country house that you might find at a winery. Zachary. Chateau. Very good, excellent. And there's my buzzer and that means the end to the joust. We now have a tie game. Both schools have 80 points. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There are these kids and they're doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. 
Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. to School Duel, where local high schools match wits. And today's game has Coral Glades High competing against Western High School. Now, currently, we have a tie game. Both schools have 80 points. It is time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Now, since Western won the coin toss that we have due to the tie that we have, they opted to go first. We have Coral Glades waiting outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with A as in alpha. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter A as in alpha, and each question is worth 10 points. Remember that you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So here comes rapid action, Western. Cue music and let's begin. Four letter adjective for door left slightly open. Rue Darnley? A jar. Shrinking superhero played by Paul Rudd. Sean? Ant-Man. School children sometimes pledge this to the American flag. Rue Darnley? Allegiance. Noble gas with atomic number 18. Sean? Argon. Egyptian god of embalming with the head of a jackal. Yes, Rue Anubis. Darnley? Anubis. Mesoamerican people led by Montezuma. Yes, Sean? Aztec. Australian rock band that released the albums Back in Black and High Voltage. Cole. ACDC. The first A in the acronym NASA. Yes, Sean? Uh, astronomical. The oldest branch of the US States military. The United States military. Air Rude Force. The last Stuart monarch. She was Queen of England just before King George the First. Sean. Abigail. All right, good job, Western. We got through all of your questions. And with a little TV magic, let's bring in your competitors from Coral Glades High. And welcome back, Coral Glades. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with A as in alpha. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter A as in alpha. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on, okay? So, Coral Glades, let's cue music and let's begin. Four letter adjective for door left slightly open. Zachary. A jar. Shrinking superhero played by Paul Rudd. Ryan. Ant-Man. School children sometimes pledge this to the American flag. Olivia. Allegiance. Noble gas with atomic number 18. Ryan. Argon. Egyptian god of embalming with the head. Olivia. Anubis. Mesoamerican people led by Montezuma. Ryan. Aztec. Australian rock band that released the albums back in black and high. Yes, Olivia. ACDC. The first A in the acronym NASA. Olivia. 
Astronomy. The oldest branch of the United States military. Ryan. Army. The last Stuart monarch. She was the Queen of England just before King George the First. Yes, Zachary. Mary. All right, good job. Now there are only two questions that both teams missed. Let's start with the first A in the acronym NASA. It's aeronautics. And the last Stuart monarch. She was the Queen of England just before King George the First. That is Queen Anne. That sound ends the rapid action round. We do have a close game now. No more tie. Coral Glades has 160 points. Western has 150 points. We're going to take a short break and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. Junior Achievement provides a curriculum where students can build and prepare how to be accomplished, successful adults. It's a budgeting, financial literacy, personal finance program that we're doing with the school system. They're going to play out life scenarios, really learning how to live out a lifestyle uh, within their means and budget. The kids learn it and they bring it back home and it really helps the entire family. And it begins to start impacting schools and it'll impact our nation. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. The score is pretty tight. Coral Glades has 160 points. Western is right behind them with 150 points. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round, and our schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time the questions are worth 20 points. Now, just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Now, this is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. Hands on the buzzers. Let's go. Traditions. According to the old farmer's almanac, what person's job at a wedding is usually to spread petals down the aisle? Yes, Rudarnley? Flower boy. Incorrect, Coral Glades. Ryan? Flower girl. Correct. Singers. Name the singer whose song Betty and Cardigan appear on her recent album Folklore. Olivia. Taylor Swift. Fast Capitals. What is the capital of Cuba? Sean. Havana. Poetry. In most haiku poems, the first and last lines have five syllables. Ryan? Three. Incorrect. Western. While the middle line has how many syllables? Rudarnley. Seven. Spelling. Spell the candy pronounced licorice. Zachary. L-I-C-O-R-I-C-E. TV. What cable TV channel airs series including Chopped, Beat Bobby Flay, Sean. Food Network. Artist. What French Impressionist painted series of paintings of haystacks and water lilies? Ryan. Monet. Strait. Named for a Danish explorer, what strait separates Ryan? Magellan. Incorrect. Western, I'll finish it. Named for a Danish explorer, what strait separates the Chukchi Peninsula of Russia from the Seward Peninsula of Alaska, Sean. The Bering Strait. Birds. Name the order of bird that includes the macaw and the cockatoo, some of which are known for their bright colors and ability to talk. Rudarnley. Peacock. Incorrect. Coral Glades. 
Zachary. Karen. Organelles. Which cell organelles, rough type, has ribosome? Yes, Rudarnley? Endoplasmic reticulum. College majors. What college major includes the specializations aerospace, chemical, electrical, mechanical, Rudarnley? Engineering. Religion. Which religion's five pillars of faith include Rudarnley? Islam. Money math. If a TV costs $1,000 plus 6% sales tax, what is the total cost including? Yes, Ryan? $1,060. Physicist. What physicist's 1922 tour of Japan included several presentations of his theory? Ryan? Einstein. Doctors. He or she might have a degree called a DDS or a DMD. Identify this type of doctor who can help you when you have a toothache. Cole. Dentist. Wars. What botanical wars were fought between the British houses of Lancaster and York? Zachary. War of the Roses. Grammar. In grammar, what mark is used to indicate a possessive, as in Rudarnley? Apostrophe. Asia. What small area about four miles wide separates North Korea from South Korea? Rudarnley? DMZ. Aviation. Identify the town on North Carolina's Outer Banks with a bikeway named for the Wright brothers, who flew their first airplane there. Olivia. Kitty Hawk. Shapes. What shape do you get if you graph a quadratic function in an X? Yes, Rudarnley? A U. Incorrect, Ryan? Parabola. Kings. Alfred Lord Tennyson's Idols of the King is about what king of myth known for his round table? Ryan? Arthur. States. What are called counties in most US states are called parishes in what state? Yes, Sean? Louisiana. And that sound means the end to this school goal game. What an exciting game. I mean, 10 points difference. Coral Glades, you are going on to winning with a score of 380 points over Weston's 370 points. Coral Glades, congratulations. Each of you have won Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Congratulations. And great job to everyone. So let's hear it for both schools. All right, at this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible and all of you at home for watching. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved and watch past shows. Now, please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as the Rowell Academy Preparatory takes on Park Vista High in what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.